Welcome back to the Backfire channel. This is part two of an eight part series that we are doing on eight hunting rifles under $750. And for this second one, we have the Bagara B14 Hunter. Um, as far as build quality goes, coming out of the box, this thing looks pretty good. Uh, it feels really good, the stock feels really solid. And as well as like your, your seams and your, your butt pad coming on there, the quality is really, really good. It's actually, I feel, one of our, the better rifles that we're gonna review. Um, so as far as build quality goes, I would give this thing at least an 8.5 out of 10. Now let's move into how this thing shot. So Jim, Ricky, and I, we took this out yesterday and we put a lot of ammo through this thing. And Bergar guarantees that it will shoot a 1.0 inch MOA out of the box. Well. Yesterday we shot a .943 and we all shot really well with this gun. Um, so they definitely stood up to their guarantee as far as the one inch MOA. As far as the trigger on this thing, so coming out of the box, it is set at 2.25 pounds, which is awesome because the trigger of that light is really nice. Still gives you the surprise of it going off to help with your consistency and your accuracy. And as far as the creep goes in this trigger, there wasn't much there that I noticed anyway. So my opinion, I really like this trigger that they've, they've put on this hunter. Uh, and as far as the bolt action, it as well was really, really smooth. Uh, worked well, fed well, ejected well. So overall quality as far as the build, the trigger, the action, I'm impressed. Uh, this is definitely a rifle that I would go out and purchase and use for my hunting rifle. And it feels like this rifle is going to last a long time as well. You know, it's pretty scratch resistant on the stock here. Same with the barrel, the barrel feels really good. Um, we haven't been banging them around too much, but some of the guns that we have had just in and out of the safe, working with them, shooting them, some of them have been banged up. Um, but this one is holding up really well. This one shot really well. And yes, Ricky will say that this certain pattern on this hunter gun right here will look like your garage floor, and it, and it does. It looks like your coated garage floor, but to me, that doesn't bother me, and I don't think it bothers Ricky or Jim either. Um, I think we all really just care about how it's shot. Yes, appearance is nice, and it does have a good appearance to it, but uh, there are some of the others that, that you would think appealing to the eye, they just are more appealing versus this one. Again, it looks like a garage floor, but again, I don't care. Uh, let's move on to the safety on this gun. So this gun, the safety is really, really easy. And what some guys do like is having that red for the fire. So this one is labeled with a white for the safe, red for fire. So there's no doubt on whether you're in the safe mode or on fire. Uh, and as far as the Bolt action release, super easy. It's just one button, pull your bolt out as you're pushing that button, and it comes out easy and quick. So Bagara, I feel, has done a really, really good job on this build and on this rifle because of the MOA. And as far as heaviness goes, when we weighed it, it was seven pounds, 0 0.05 ounces. So it's not too heavy. Um, there are obviously lighter rifles out there, but there's also a lot heavier rifles as well. And as far as length goes, so measuring this rifle right here, this rifle measures at 41 and three quarter inches, so 41.75 inches. So it's not overly long either. But again, as far as what we were shooting, it shot really well and really smooth. Uh, and like I said, we put a lot of ammo through this gun. And again, we shot really, really well with it. So I feel that I can speak for Jim and Ricky I feel like they really like this rifle as well. And I know Jim has done a lot of research on this, this certain rifle right here. And from what he talked about, he liked it. He was impressed with it. Um, and again, I feel like for all three of us, this is a rifle that we would definitely purchase to hunt with. Um, again, these are all just in a 6.5 Creedmoor. So a 6.5 Creedmoor is not a huge caliber. And so with the butt pad, that doesn't play a huge factor to us. But again, in these reviews, we want to go into as much detail as we can. And so this butt pad, it's pretty squishy. It's, it's a little more hard as far as the rubber goes, 
but again, it's pretty squishy. And so if you're shooting a 300 Ultra, that might be a little, a, a little more concern on the butt pad. But with this rifle right here, not a concern at all. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of kick to it. And with that light trigger, it just shoots really well. And I, and I know I've said that a lot, but again, shooting a lot of these rifles and putting a lot of ammo down range, this is right now by far one of the better shooting rifles that we've done. And again, this is part two. So this is the second rifle we reviewed and we have six more to go. Uh, so as far as price goes on this guy, so this one right here uh, runs about $700. I believe it's like at Sportsman's Warehouse where we purchased this rifle was $699.99. So really not too high, especially for this whole group of rifles. It's really comparable to the others. And even if it is on the upper end, as far as the way this rifle shot, I am willing to pay the $700 to shoot this rifle. Um, again, they're all going to be topped with a Vortex Razor HD Gen 2. It's a 4.5 to 27 power by 56. So there's no question on the optic that we're using, whether it's quality. So they're all going to be topped with the same optic. And we're shooting them for accuracy, quality, um, consistency. And again, we're using three different types of factory ammo. So they're all getting the same ammo shot through them. That way we can get really good readings on all eight of these rifles. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, don't forget to like our videos, comment, and then subscribe to our YouTube channel.